Okay, hello. Let me just start off by saying this is in no way intended to like shade Bella or iGirl. If you don't know iGirl, she is a Depop seller who has become very famous for her wacky style and she sells personalized style bundles for around $200. I just got into like a hole of watching all the bundles her she's doing and like people unboxing them and like people trying them on. I was honestly inspired by some of the looks. I thought a lot of the stuff was really cool, but then sometimes it's like a bit of a mess. <laughs> she obviously has the resources and time and experience to do the like whole vintage thrifting Y2K thing way better than me, but I thought I'd give it a go and maybe I would end up liking some of the outfits I put together. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with the letter. Hey girl, had such a fun time putting your bundle together. Just thought I'd take a moment to tell you how I put it all together from hand to toe. Since you love to mix tomboy and girly, everything is super interchangeable in Y2K. For the first look, start with the sickening dickies and pair it with a pink lace camera skirt. Add sneakers for a casual look or heels for a skater bomb cup. Accessorize with the black lace as a head start for that gothic touch. For the next look, try the platinum mini skirt, which will look amazing on your rod, and the killer vintage beta racing tank. The pink in the skirt will also tie in perfectly to the pink cami if you want to rock them together in the full clippers. As a third option, I threw in the gorge slip dress that will go right with the beta tee or any other graphic in your collection. Thanks for believing in my creativity. Love yourself. It's so sweet. It's so cute. I just can't wait to see what I put together. This is how you end up dissociating. I noticed I was doing the unboxing voice, um, which was supposed to be funny, but I think it was just annoying. So we're gonna try and stop that, but here's the first look. I just did it again. <laughs> I forgot to say I also got fish baits to kind of jazz everything up. Yeah, we're just gonna go vertical, like deal with it. So here are the dickies. There. And I put it with the boot. With the boot. And um, the top. Oh, the bandana. And there you have it. Very, um funeral chic do we think that this is an eye girl outfit it's for you to decide i think it is i think it's like not not too far off at least <laughs> the lighting is just kind of ridiculous but there's no way i'm making anyone in my family shoot this video for me <laughs> it's not in the cards I just saw this video of these tiny girls doing a catwalk. Inspirational. I should watch that a couple times and then try this out. Anyways, let's move along. Here it is. I put some baby clips in because that's totally the vibe. Okay, I need to stop doing that. Put some baby clips in as that is appropriate. And here's the pink on the pink. See, this has pink in it. My neighbor just said they could have anything they want for dinner tonight. I'm kind of jealous. Okay, so if the one before was half girly, this is the full girly. And yeah, like there is a clueless situation going on in the ambiance of this ensemble. And um, it's still a little edgy because I put the fish ones on basically. Honestly, is it K-poppy? I need to learn a Luna dance. That's the end of the story. So here's the here's the T, and the best part about this, it's as big of a graphic on the back as the front. But yeah, it's a vibe. It's not a vibe. Let's not say vibe. This is definitely more in my comfort zone. Like. I love doing a baggy shirt with a mini skirt already. I feel like I literally have worn this worn this outfit before. Um, but not the fish tights and the boots. I think that's just like to give you the the idea of like how this would be styled. Sorry, flipping the camera again. You feel it, right? I know you do. I know you do. Okay, so while I feel this is a, a look, 
in a lot of ways. Um, I don't know what to do. You get it. Um, this is... Definitely a situation. I think it looks pretty cool in general. I actually don't like it with this shirt so much. Maybe not the fishnets. Let me see. Let me see. Alrighty. So this is... Okay. The new balances. Hi. I think this is a cool, like, laid back going to coffee. Just grabbing some things. But I still am popping out a little bit. The shirt that Bella styled it with, just a little too big. It didn't, and like the color is, I don't know. This is more like, goes with it, in my opinion. <laughs> it wasn't Bella, it was me. And then, yeah, the sneakers, they'll do, you know? Like, what, what else can I put in a fucking a bag? No one cares. Um, this is the look. Yeah, it's versatile. So shut up. So yeah, um, I think it was iGirl-esque. I think I kind of hit the mark. Come on, give it to me. But, um, yeah, one of the things a lot of people talk about is like, is it worth the price? And, you know, it's a lot of the fact is in the pricing is, you know, that it's coming from Bella at this point, like such a big influencer and she has a good eye for like the brands and everything. So like, I don't know what, what brands, I don't, I have no idea what brands these are. Oh, this is kind of cool. Star City. Wow! I never looked at that before. I'll just go through like what I spent on everything. So I got this scarf for a dollar. This was a dollar. The Dickies were $4, and I got those all in one trip to one thrift store. So that makes uh, $6 for that look. And then uh, this I got a while ago. I've had this for a while. Uh, I love it. And that was like $4, I think. And the t-shirt, I've had it for a while. Um, it was $5. So that outfit would be $9. So what do we have? Six and nine is 15. And then this, um, I actually got off Depop because I, I couldn't find a slip that I liked when I was thrifting. And I was like, I don't want to be on this <laughs> scavenger hunt. I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. So this was like 15. I mean, that's shipping. Um, so that, I mean, it, it comes out to like, what, $30? 35 it doesn't have the novelty. It doesn't have the excitement of not knowing what you're gonna get. Or her personal brand of jewelry. But it's more cost effective and it's pretty fun and um, doable. So that was fun. Take from it what you will, I guess. <laughs> uh, peace.